Well hi everyone, it's been a little while since I've been around on YouTube uh, but I am back, at least for the moment and uh, uh, had a little trip up to Dartmoor uh, which, you'll see <coughs> which you'll see in a moment and uh, I just wanted to say uh, before you get into it uh, that in all seriousness things did go a bit mad in terms of the weather so uh, uh, I just want to make the point I did go really well prepared for this uh, but this isn't the kind of weather to be out in if you haven't got the right kit uh, so I didn't want anyone to just be rushing out there unprepared thinking that they can do this with any old gear uh, I go very well prepared uh, particularly for the cold uh, wind is a different matter uh, but the tent that I had stood up to some real battering and, uh, and a lesser well-made tent would not have done so I think it would have been ripped to pieces uh, so it just came with that little health warning but, uh, but there you go I shall say no more hope you enjoy the video see you again soon Well, welcome back to Dartmoor. Those of you who have seen my vlogs before may well remember me coming to this place previously. And uh, I'm at Merryville on Dartmoor. And I'm just so glad to be here, although I think I'm about to get totally soaked. And I may have to head back to the car in a moment. I think I'm about to get hit by hail in some quantity. You can see this storm stormy sky just rolling in at the moment but I've come to camp once again up on the moors up there in this dreadful weather because I haven't been out since probably last August and it's February now and uh, I've just been so busy and unable to get out until now but, uh, but it's really good to be back out on the moors it's a chilly day, it's, it's about two or three degrees, but I am uh, I'm very well dressed for the occasion, and, uh, so I don't feel cold, and it's not massively windy, not yet, but I suspect it will be soon. So I'm just going to, I'll just see what the weather does, if it gets unbearable, I'll have to head for the car. I am so looking forward to camping out tonight. I know that sounds a bit crazy. But I am really looking forward to it. It's sobering to think that these stones have been here it's likely for the last 4,000 years. And it's hard to escape the conclusion that they can be anything other than ceremonial or ritual in some way or other. As the snow comes down uh, so thickly here now you really get a sense of how of just how wild this place can be and how difficult it must be to survive here without the benefits of all the modern equipment that I have at my disposal today and this circle of stones here would have been home I guess to an extended family An amazing place. And it looks like we may clear soon. I think this may just blow through and we're going to end up with this beautiful covering. So do you know what? I am not going to head back to the car. because this is just gonna, I think this is gonna look gorgeous 
when the sun comes out. This is going to look so dramatic. And here comes the sun. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And thank goodness for a waterproof iPhone and camera. The storm passes. Fantastic light. I think I'm going to go back to the stone circles and see whether I can get a decent picture with that in the foreground looking over towards the tours with the sun striking it and maybe a bit of stormy sky I kind of wish I'd stayed up there now Well, it's less than two hours till uh, sunset now and I think it's time therefore to make it back to the car, find a place to park and climb all the way up to uh, Staple Tour up there, great Staple Tour, for a bit of a wild night I reckon. Here we go, catch you later. I just took a slight pause on the way up here to uh, do a shot with this little pool or standing water here and some of these long grasses and this rock in the foreground because uh, the, the light's really nice actually and this, the darkness, the deep blue uh, reflection in this water is just beautiful so uh, I wanted to capture a little bit of the tour up there in the background uh, so I took a shot with this rock here in the foreground and uh, so I, in fact I took three shots to focus stack it so I've done four mid and background uh, just to see if I can uh, get it really sharp right the way through uh, it is handheld because my tripod's all packed away and this is a bit of a grab shot really but uh, let's see how it turns out could be quite moody So what have I been doing the last few months? I have been doing a degree in life in Christchurch in Dorset. And um, 
that's great. Uh, it's keeping me extremely busy. Um, one of the reasons I came to Dartmoor is I'm doing a little project. It's part of the group. I'm going to stop paganism. Yes. And, um, and so I thought, I know where I can go. I can do a little piece to camera um, on that project. And I can come to Dartmoor. And, uh, because this is an ancient place. It's a place where people lived in nearly times, thousands of years ago. And there are still many relics in the walls. There are stone circles, certain huts, standing stones, stone roads. And there's, uh, there's so much on the moor, literally thousands. And it got me thinking. Uh, this would be a good place to come and think about some of the groups of the pagan religions. And, uh, so I've come here and uh, just to record a little bit of an appropriate survey. But it's been a really great day. Uh, the weather has been a bit mad. From bright sunshine to hail to heavy snow. And, uh, no, I just love that. I love it. I just feel like I'm in the right place doing this. And, uh, and mad British way. Welcome to Merivale on Dartmoor. I'm at one of two stone rows here. And it's likely that this was an important place of ceremony and ritual. This is a place where things can change very quickly in terms of the weather. A place that reminds you very quickly of your vulnerability as a human being. It's the kind of place where darkness and light, night and day, a successful crop or a failed crop, rain or drought can make the difference between life and death. A place of remembrance, a place where perhaps you would remember your ancestors, not just who they were, but what they were, what they did, and how they did it, because that kind of information could be absolutely vital to your survival. So welcome to Merivale and just a little piece of Neolithic Britain. Oh my word, it is completely crazy out there. It's like a hurricane. I don't know if you can hear me at all. This tent is taking such a battering makes it through the night in one piece, it would have done really well. I will try and get some sleep, don't think much of that's going to happen. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, it's about five o'clock in the morning and it's just so completely crazy out there. Somehow or other, I'll get in some, some wet, some rain in the tent. I'm not entirely sure how it's getting in. It might be that it's just condensation that's now getting blown off the, off the roof of the tent and inside. Ooh. Hasn't involved a lot of sleep tonight. I don't think there's going to be a lot more either. I have to just sit this one through. The rain is due to stop sometime in the next hour or so. It is crazy up here. <laughs> it's just mad. I'm really glad I've got good equipment. Well, that is the, uh, the puddle that I ended up in <laughs> last night. So I certainly tested the hydrostatic competency of my tent to the full and it wasn't entirely successful but there you go it was extreme conditions didn't do the normal pack down uh, time lapse because the weather was just too bad really so, uh, so there you go there's a little pile of snow that was just fell off my tent at the end so it has been snowing it's been really nasty weather and any thoughts of doing a two-nighter now long gone in the dim and distant past. I am going to get back to the car, get warm, head home 
and try and get some sleep because I got zero sleep last night. But there you go, it was an adventure. It was an adventure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll show you one or two snaps that I took, one or two shots that I took at the end. And uh, thanks for watching. See you again next time, whenever that may be. Bye for now.